VA disability ratings for arm conditions. We're hard on our arms. I busted my elbow and I got hardware here in my right arm. I also have ulnar nerve damage um, in my right hand as a result of failed neck surgery. I don't know how many times I've dislocated and sprained both arms and wrists multiple times. I'm surprised I haven't broken more stuff in my arms, but I was tough on my entire body and my arms are no exception. The VA uses 38 CFR 4.71A diagnostic code 5201 to rate limitation of the arm at 20, 30, or 40%. VA takes into consideration whether the veteran's dominant or non-dominant arm is affected and how severely it's limited. So I'm right hand dominant, right? They know that. And, you know, you run your mouth at VA medical appointments and all that stuff. These, this kind of information they get from you, this would be a positive piece of information. Uh, but keep running your mouth and you're going to bury yourself. So watch what you say to these guys because the VA is the enemy. Um, but they know I'm right hand dominant. So if there's a condition with my right hand, they're going to uh, give me a little bit more because it's my dominant hand. So that's something to keep in mind. As VA claims for arm conditions are orthopedic conditions, the average rating is 30%. And that's why it makes it onto my list of valuable VA claims the VA doesn't want you to know about. That strategy, that's my boot camp. That's what I talk about. I preach it and I teach it. You need a doctor that can help you with the Nexus letter. Check out my med team. Here's an email address. Hit them up. Tell them you need a Nexus.